Let me tell you the the um a funny wrestler handshake story. I don't know if it if, if it was born out of the handshake. You can tell me where this tradition comes from. Just told this story again on Renee Dupree's show. Um, Harley Race. Uh, we were working with him one time, and uh, he it was snowing, and he had to fly out very early for a wedding the next day to get back to Kansas City. And uh, and I stood to look out the window, and uh, and I did. There was it was it was still snowing, and he says, uh, "It better lighten up out there, or this is going to cost you another grand." At which point, he reaches under me from behind and tweaks my balls. I th- I mean, I'd heard of the wrestler's handshake. I was wondering if this was was part of that deal. Um, it, I, I'm not selling it. You know, I'm standing there just kind of looking out the window going up. Oh, nope. Still snowing Harley. And he's, he's cackling like a man, like a madman behind me. But you know, I, I got to tell everyone Harley race grabbed my balls. You know what else he did that night? That was amazing. Kevin, he took a bottle cap and he put it between these two fingers, like arguably the weakest fingers on the hand, right? This way, like uh, wide and then folded it in half, like a clamshell. And told, we were just sitting there. He was he was pounding Bud Lights. I was sitting next to him. We were doing a uh, take on a on a voice thing, and uh, and he he leans over. He goes, "Can you do this?" And I'm like, "Well, Harley, usually the answer is no, but show me." He fucking folded the bottle cap. Everyone talks about how tough he is. How he punched folding a bottle cap in half with these two fingers. I remember one time we were. He was my manager for like a year. He had me and, and Curtis Hughes, and. Uh, we're driving and we get lost leaving the DC armory and the DC armory is like people from the hood won't go to the DC armory. So we're leaving the DC armory and, uh, lo and behold, like I said, I, I say, Harley, Harley, fuck man. It's a, it's a one way street. Yeah, I'm only going one way. I'm like, Oh Jesus. And one thing about Harley is if you were going the wrong way, at least you were going a hundred. So 30, 30 minutes, it's like, Harley, I think we need to go east. I think it's west. Half hour later, you know, you're, you're four states with that son of a bitch driving 120 in a rented Cadillac. So we end up pulling into Bethesda Naval Hospital. And the only reason he stopped is because there were armed guards there that actually pointed at the, at the vehicle. He slams on the brakes, looks up, and he goes, unrolls the one, he goes, I'm fucking lost. How the fuck do I get to BWI? And the, the guys just walked over, and, the guy, and they just said, turn around, da 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 Thank you. And I was just thinking to myself, like, we just had guns pointed at us, Harley. Like, I told you, like, 18 minutes ago we were going the wrong fucking way. He's Harley, though. You get away with it when you're Harley. Seven-time real world champion.